coalition forces report sporadic outbreaks of violence across the Middle East, believed to be part of a power struggle between rival terrorist organizations. Army spokesman Colonel J. Robert Powers tells INN that a suspected Osama terrorist training camp on the outskirts of Jassan was destroyed yesterday, allegedly in a daring daytime raid by members of the Al-Tair sect. In Washington today... Hey look, Darcy photoshopped her faces into a still frame of a buddy cop movie. That's, um, yeah. Ah, oh, great. Picture of Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah! With three exclamation points. you let Nasri go. So we could track him, yes. Must have been a hard choice. If you'd been able to snag him, you probably could have disrupted arms traffic in the region. At least for a while. That's not my mission. Getting Shahid is. Anything come up you need my help with? Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was four dollars a gallon. And he likes feeling safe when he travels. What do you mean, safe? While well, Al-Saman is mostly untrained civilians using Cold War guns, his personal bodyguards are well-trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting-edge tech. So you've been with Alpha Protocol a while, then? Not as long as Westridge, and not nearly as long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <sighs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner? Well, we'll catch him this time. He won't get another chance. I hope so. I feel like if we'd been a little quicker with analyzing the data... Don't beat yourself up over it. What's done is done. Let's focus on the next step. You're right. We're closing in on him, and it shouldn't be much longer. Still, with Alpha Protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved complicates things. Because the missiles are used by the U.S. military? I think the American public would understand if they were stolen. I don't think so. And I think that's why the U.S. wants to keep this quiet. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Sounds like you have some doubts, Mina. No, 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 it's not like that. Not really. I mean, other agencies wouldn't approve, but that's not my call. The CIA, the NSA, most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? a beta or gamma protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. wonder if I'd get a new name if Alpha Protocol shut down. I don't know. We might get new names, new identities. Or fired. This seems like a big assignment for a new hire. There must have been other candidates. There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. 
Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about Shahid. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because I think when given a choice, you're going to choose the people of a country over the heads of state. And that's not a choice many people here would make in the same circumstances. Especially Darcy. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. According to your dossier, your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. I think you're someone who does what's right. And that's what I'm counting on. So I've read up on you. <laughs> really? Thinking about a career as a stalker. Isn't that what a handler is? Some truth to that. You used to be with the National Security Administration, right? Yes. <sighs> but it didn't work out so well. I felt I wasn't doing much to make the world a safer place. So you signed on to Alpha Protocol? They contacted me, yes. And here I am. Talking to you now. Can you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I know it's your first time infiltrating an airfield. As long as you're backing me up, I think I'll be in good hands. That's very optimistic of you, Agent Thornton. But I appreciate the trust. That's all I need. Thanks, Mina. You got it. Call me if you need anything else. Try not to alert the camp. If you do, we may lose our chance to find Sheed. I'm inside. Sure is a lot of security. Tell me about it. There's cameras all over the place. It's bad. But it also means they've got something here worth protecting. Judging from the schematics, there's a security gate cutting you off from the tower. Any way around it? Should be a terminal for the gate in one of the buildings. Aside from the panel on the gate itself, but... Walking right up to the gate will leave me exposed. Got it. I might be able to find a way over it. If you can fly, then you're welcome to try. I think you'd be surprised.
that's that. Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. Mm, the ones at the tower are on a different circuit, though. I'm in the control tower now. Look around for any computers. They may have flight records stored on them we can use to help track Shahid.
transmitting the logs now. Why, thank you, Mr. Thornton. It seems you found the al Samad flight records. Can't wait to analyze these. Looks like they got a stockpile of weapons here. I'm gonna see if I can destroy these crates before they get shipped out. All right, Mike. But the control tower comes first. the last one. Well done. Now for the tower. Thank you. 
strong. We're good. Now get out of there. Mike, I see you made it back all right. <laughs> Nothing on the channel about any disturbances at the airfield. Well done. Security was a lot more than I was expecting. Forced me to be a little more cautious than normal. I noticed the security. It may be a good sign. It means the airfield is important to Al Samad. If this keeps up, we should be able to catch Shahid. And from there, recovering the missiles should be easy. I won't relax until we have them both secured. Can't afford to get careless now. Is the bug transmitting? Loud and clear, no problems. Parker's on it now, which is why I called. Looks like we have something. Shahid's coordinates and an ETA. How reliable is it? 90%. The information we got from Nasri helped. And the data you and Darcy secured from the detention camp let us track the missiles. It looks like this is it, Mike. Westridge will be with you on the calm, and I'll be monitoring in case things get... difficult. All right, then. I'll get my gear and head out when I'm ready. Good luck, Mike.